Hey everybody out there, how's it going today? <clears throat> Excuse me. Cop Tuesday, country gentleman. And in the country gentleman today, courtesy of the major pipe, we have old Joe Krantz in here. I've had it lit up for a couple of minutes here. <clears throat> it's pretty good. I like this. This is definitely a fuller bodied tobacco out of what I've experienced, which again is not a lot yet, but it's a little bit fuller bodied than what I've experienced so far. I, I really like this one. Seems to me the Limerick had a little bit more of that pepper zing to it. This is pretty good here. This is, I'm liking this. It's a little bit stronger. Again, like I say, uh, a little bit fuller bodied. So this is turning out to be pretty good. This was another uh, another good pick. Uh, the major pipe, Danny Shore Tamper. Thank you very much, Danny. So just thought I'd do a really quick. If I can get that to stay up there without falling off, do a really quick video today and got a question for you about the price of tobaccos. And something that I <clears throat> saw just the other day, see if any of you guys have experienced this or what your thoughts are. There's a couple tobaccos I've been looking at that I want to try. You know, I went online and looked at like uh, Pipes and Cigar, looked at uh, SmokingPipes.com, looked at, I even went over to Cigars International. They've got a, a fairly decent selection of uh, pipe tobacco, so I checked them on some of the, um, you know, several different things. There's some McBarons that I've been wanting to try, and you know, I mean, there's, I've got a whole list that I want to try. And I hope I'm not squinting too much because it is ground still pretty much covered with snow, uh, but the sun is out. We got sunshine. We're at about 35 degrees. Last time I checked, just a few minutes ago. So the roads are starting to turn into slush now. The side streets, the main roads, you know, they've plowed those and got those all cleared off. So there's a lot of reflection. So and no clouds to diffuse the sun or anything. So I may be kind of squinting today but anyway this is good this old Joe Krantz is really good Danny Shore if you have not tried this I think this is one you probably would like it's a little bit stronger I think I'm getting a little bit more nicotine out of it definitely fuller bodied more pretty good mouth feel to it And I'm pretty sure this had some perique in it. And I think the perique, I gotta do a little bit more research on the perique, but I think that's where I'm getting that little peppery zing from, which is what I like. I like that, when I smoke a cigar, I like that, whether it's cayenne or black pepper, you know, that zing where when you, you can, when you're done, you still feel that zing on your tongue. So anyway, I went into a <clears throat> an appointment the other day. It was about a mile, probably about a mile, maybe a mile and a half from a local brick and mortar tobacco shop that I'd never been in before. So I ran over there, got there about 15 minutes ahead of my appointment. So I ran into this tobacco shop <clears throat> and I think they're primarily a pipe tobacco shop. They had a walk-in humidor, probably one of the smallest walk-in humidors that I've ever seen and they had you know your big name major brand uh, cigars they couldn't have a lot of the boutique stuff just because they didn't have room for it so I went through there spent a couple minutes in there then I started and went out and looked at their pipe tobacco and I picked up a can or a can they had a tin of um, of the McBaron's HH Old Dark Fire. I thought, oh, well, that's one that I've been wanting to try. And I know I'd seen it online at both Pipes and Cigars and uh, SmokingPipes.com. 
They were both on back order. I thought, well, no big deal. I'll try some of these others because I got plenty to try. And so <clears throat> I picked this tin up, looked at the back of it, and it was like $35. I'm like, wait a minute. I am almost positive I saw this for $13, $13.50, less than $14 at a couple different places online. So I picked up the next tin behind it. Look, look at the back of it. Same thing. I thought, well, maybe you know they had a pricing error, the price gun as they were adjusting it or something. Maybe it was supposed to be fifteen dollars instead of thirty-five or something like that. So I put it down. There's another tin of McBaron. I don't even remember what it was at this point. Pick it up. Look at it. Turn it over at the back. Same thing. It's like 36, 37, 38 dollars. Pick up the 10 behind it, check it. Same thing. Maybe they got in a McBaron order and they were pricing it all and they just, again, the pricing gun was, that's what I was thinking. It had to be a pricing error. So then I pick up a 10 of something totally different. And it's like, 25, 30, 35, I checked five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different tins, and they were all in the 25 to 35 to 40 dollar range. And these aren't, you know, they aren't pounds. They are, they're, you know, a regular tin, like uh, what, an ounce and a half, ounce and three quarters, two ounces. So there were no more than two ounces in any of those. And they had all of them I checked were this way. So there's no way, in my mind, that they could have got all those in at the same exact time and mispriced every single one of them and not caught it. And I only had a few minutes and they were, I only saw one guy behind the counter and he was busy and they had five or six guys in there. So I thought, well, <clears throat> I'm not going to have time to talk to him. Otherwise, I'd talk to him and you know, start asking him a few questions. I don't want to insult him by, why are you so overpriced? But, you know, you start inquiring a little bit. So they've got another shop across town I have not been to. So I want to go to that shop and do the same thing. Maybe it's a, I don't know whether the owner set the price, whether the manager set the price, whether they it was a pricing error and they don't care, whether they're just way overpriced. Maybe, and at first I thought, well, maybe because like that old dark fire is on back order in a couple of places, maybe they, you know, supply and demand. They raise their price up. You want it bad enough, you'll pay for it, <clears throat> which I don't want it bad enough. And I'll wait until I can get it at a decent price. <clears throat> so I didn't know whether that was it whether they're gouging people, whether they're just way overpriced, whether they know it's in limited supply or something like that, whether they're maybe trying to sell their house blends, their bulk or something, and so they price the tins way up, so you'll buy, you know, there, I didn't, and again, they were busy in there, so I didn't have a chance to talk to anybody, so I do want to go across town, check the other shop. I'm expecting to probably find the exact same thing But I was just curious if you guys have ever run into anything like that. If you've been into a local shop that everything was just way overpriced or what the deal was. So anyway, it's just, just a thought I had. I want to know if anybody else had run into that. I'm liking the old Joe. Old man, old Joe Krantz. Old Joe Krantz, not old man Krantz. Old Joe. It's pretty good. I like this. Thanks, Major pipe. <clears throat> and I've gotten a few other recommendations since then that I want to try. I still got a lot of samples in there I want to try. I think I'm really going to start looking for these Perique bl <clears throat> blends and, and try different uh, blends of Perique and uh, see what's in there and what I get. So anyway, that's just my little ramble for Cobb Tuesday with my uh, country gentleman, old Joe Krantz. I really like this one too. I like that pepper, that pepper zing, that pepper kick I got out of the um, 
out of the Limerick. That was really good. That is definitely on my to always have list. And then uh, this one here is pretty good too. So of course I've got like 9,000 to try so that list may get bumped up or down. I did finally start me a spreadsheet uh, that is synced between my computer and my phone so whenever I'm liking this or not liking it I can key it into my phone and it'll update on my computer or I can update it on my computer and it'll key into my phone so that way just help me remember some of that anyway that's it I'm gonna take off I'll let you guys go and I'll catch you later hey everybody quick update I'm still on the uh, of course I'm still on the old Joe Krantz. I'm going to splice these two videos together. just thought I'd do a quick update because as I go through this bowl, I'm probably three quarters of the way through the bowl by now. This has definitely got a good nicotine kick to it. At least for me. Now I don't know what everybody's flavor, what, <coughs> excuse me, what your nicotine tolerance is, but... And I may be farther down than... Uh, three quarters of the way through the bowl but <clears throat> if you like a in my opinion if you like that nicotine uh, kick that nicotine I mean it's not strong enough to where you know when you smoke a really strong cigar you start to turn green you start to sweat you start to get kind of woozy it's not like that but it's definitely got that nicotine kick to it which I do I like that I don't have, I think I'm done here. So anyway, I uh, just thought I'd give you a quick update. If you like that, it doesn't have that, that pepper zing, but it's got the, I would say, if you call a nicotine a zing, but I can definitely tell, at least on my palate, this has got a little bit more nicotine in it. Well, probably quite a bit more nicotine than a lot of the previous blends that I have been smoking. And so uh, the Limerick had that good pepper zing, it didn't really seem too elevated in nicotine. This seems more elevated in nicotine. I'm getting a good flavor off of it. So if you like, if you like that nicotine, full-bodied, a fuller strength uh, smoke, try the uh, Old Joe Krantz. I'm really enjoying it. So anyway, that's it. I'm gonna get out of here. I may load up another bowl of a uh, another one, and I'll update you on it. Talk to you guys later. Appreciate it.